Welcome back to Reinfrastructure. Today we will be talking about the new tallest building in East Midtown, One Vanderbilt. One Vanderbilt is a brand new office tower being designed by KPF Architects and their goal when they were designing it was to create a 21st century successor to Rockefeller Center as they were saying. It will take up the entire block from 42nd to 43rd Street between Vanderbilt Avenue and Madison Avenue and it is expected to be finished around late 2020 but it's been well ahead of schedule so far as their goal was to get to the 25th floor by the end of the year and they're well past that. So I'm guessing probably summer of 2020 if not even the spring. The tower will have about 1.75 million square feet which is roughly half of what the World Trade Center currently has and the super tall office tower will be about 1400 feet tall making it the tallest building in Midtown by a pretty wide margin. And it will be the 30th tallest building in the world when it is completed. And each one of these floors will be will have extremely high ceilings as I can't really get accurate information, but I know it's either 58 or 73 floors throughout the whole 1400 foot tall building. That's unprecedented. So that's going to be a pretty big, pretty nice place to work. And the top 100 feet or so, are going to be comprised of a lot of architectural detail that will be very nice to look at and it has that normal New York charm and it looks kind of like the Chrysler building which it is pretty close to and the Empire State Building's roofs. The facade of the building is being covered with glass and uh, wavy, wavy uh, textured terracotta. I don't know if you can see it. But the building will also be rated uh, LED gold which is uh, good for the environment. One Vanderbilt is going to house a 70,000 square foot observation deck 1,020 feet up in the air, which will make it one of the highest in the city. And also, it will have a large restaurant on some of the bottom floors. But, the observation deck should have a beautiful view of especially the Chrysler building which is right there it's kind of bright there yeah it's coming in focus and of course the Empire State Building which will be right near it and also Times Square Bryant Park all the rest it should be a beautiful sight to see as I mentioned in the last building spotlight this one banner build is also a product of the recent Midtown East rezoning oh, no, no, mission, which know. also allowed for 425 Park Avenue and of course 270 Park, which will be coming up soon, 1400 feet as well. But to, be, to build so close to Grand Central, it's right there, they had to promise that they would make $220 million investments into Grand Central and the subway stations inside, which will help the station so much as it's a pretty old station and the whole building is said to cost about 3.1 billion dollars that's well that's triple the amount that 425 park was but it's also at this one's at a much better location as anyone from well soon to be east side access so long island and from the westchester will have a easy commute if the trains are working correctly which they probably won't. But if they do, then they'll just have to step outside of Grand Central and boom, you're right here. There's the office. It's gonna be super easy and there's tons of food nearby and it's gonna be a great place to work. In case you need one, here's an example of one of the stairwells that's being funded by SNL Green, the owner and the owner of the building. Right here. This is one of the few spaces that's actually being fixed in the station. There's also one over here and well this whole clip was just to say uh, thank you for watching building spotlight number three. I don't know what number four is gonna be and I don't know what the next video is going to be yet but one's coming. It's definitely coming and well thank you for watching Reinfrastructure.